how to get things done and actually make progress in your intended direction. And in this video, you will get the practical steps how to actually get things done and actually make progress in your intended direction. We all can make a lot of movement in all kinds of busyness without actually making any real progress. From the moment we start thinking or considering the idea of actually proceeding towards discovering or unleashing our intended goals, we get paralyzed by the imaginary mountain of to-dos to get there. What we often don't know is that by only making little changes in the right direction, we will be in a totally different and an improved place very soon. So the key is not to make drastic changes all at once, but just making one little change at a time in the right direction. If, for example, I committed myself to make one video every day to help you to get clarity and perspective, how to liberate yourself from everything that keeps you from living your intended vibrant, passionate life, so you can experience the vast richness that life has to offer. But if I would think about the mountain of making 365 videos on top of my daily creative uh, corporate productions, on top of wanting to spend daily quality time with my family, it could look like an obstacle, where it actually it is not. The number one thing how to get things done is that the action has to align you with your intended purpose. And a simple way to find out is if your action is aligned with your intended purpose, then it gives you energy instead of drains energy. The second thing how to get things done is that you have to focus only on one single small step at a time. Every day I block out time in advance one, to focus on learning something new in the direction of my purpose. Number two, uh, I create something for my creative corporate productions. Number three, I spend quality time with my family. Number four, I do something physical. And number five, I create a new video for you. And you can create time actually by deleting time you waste at distractions that are not aligned with creating your intended purpose-driven life. And even if you only have one half an hour a day before or after work, when you block time to learn, for example, to liberate yourself from every obstacle that stands in between your intended abundant flow, then soon you will be serving your intended abundant flow. However, if you keep hearing or seeing your intended direction but without ever taking small actions, you will only keep repeating what you already know. And I want you to experience your intended abundant life to the fullest, not only for yourself, but for everyone who is waiting for you to create your intended gifts to them. Even if you have seen my following fundamental video already, would you like to do me a favor? Would you like to watch it this time with the intention to at least take one single small step tomorrow in the direction of your complete liberation? So write down after the animation what that small step will be for you and take that step tomorrow. And tomorrow night you will take yourself accountable if you have taken that small step. And from there, and only from there, you will think about and take the next small step the day after. Enjoy the animation with the intention to actually use it, to take action, so you will discover your intended, liberated and abundant flow. In this video, I want to open that tremendous rich gift or door of starting rock bottom financially and emotionally together with you. The gift includes the crystal clear direction towards true and complete emotional fulfillment. The gift includes the crystal clear direction towards the discovery of your true core and authentic purpose. I like to call it the discovery of our inner diamond. 
and the gift includes the crystal clear direction towards your intended, real, abundant financial flow, from what you authentically have to give, which you most likely would not find if you wouldn't have hit or started rock bottom. There is a greater plan behind hitting or starting rock bottom. A plan that encapsulates real abundance on every level of your life. Nature is far more intelligent than we are and really does work in our favor, even if we don't see it at the moment of hitting rock bottom. Therefore, following the laws of nature instead of our own will guide us towards the intended abundant direction. Everything that is alive to the fullest flows to the fullest naturally. And everything that stops or blocks flowing naturally becomes a flat line or dies. When our money line is unobstructed and flows naturally, a natural consequence will be our intended abundant flow of money. And that's why we use the word currency in relation to money. Just like the flow of our lungs is intended naturally. Let's represent this diamond as the authentic intended function of our lungs. When our lungs know that their intended authentic function is respiration, then the lungs give oxygen to the blood without any hesitance or obstruction and remove or take carbon dioxide from the blood. And this natural created flow of giving and taking makes our lungs and the rest of the body to flow or to be alive to the fullest. Just like our blood flow is intended naturally. Let's represent this diamond as the authentic intended function of our heart. When our heart knows that its authentic intended function is pumping blood around, then our heart gives oxygen and nutrients through the blood to all parts of our body without any hesitance or obstruction and takes away unwanted carbon dioxide and waste products. And this natural created flow of giving and taking without obstructions makes our heart and the rest of the body to flow or to be alive to the fullest. Just like our abundant money flow is intended naturally. Let's represent this diamond as the authentic intended function that each and every one of us has inside. When we know what our authentic function is, then we give and invest without any hesitance or obstruction in giving away our authentic purpose to as many people as possible and receive abundance as a natural byproduct. And this natural created flow of giving and taking without obstructions makes ourselves and all the people we give to flow or to be alive to the fullest. Do you think that if our blood flow wouldn't remember its natural function of giving and receiving blood, that it would be able to create a living, healthy, abundant flow? Do you know why most people don't experience this natural financial abundant flow yet? Or why most self-made millionaires first hit rock bottom before they actually can experience a real abundance? Because most people have experienced painful emotions that sets around our pure, authentic core and fulfilled feelings. And because we don't want to feel that painful feelings, we build a wall of distractions around our feelings, but also around our authentic core or purpose. Now that we are closed up from our feelings and core, we don't know what our authentic function is anymore, from which we are designed to flow over into natural financial abundance, from what we authentically have to give. Because we are closed up now, we live in emotional scarcity, where we only want to get but don't want to give in a win-win flow anymore. And from that disconnected scarcity state, we don't see the value of investing any time and money in self-liberation, so we stop to invest money 
in self-development or in self-discovery and start to pour away all of our money in distractions like a new phone, like Netflix, etc. All distractions away from our own unsolved pain. Because we don't know what to give from our core anymore, we try giving blood even though we are lungs, for example. Now, because denying our natural authentic function can never create flow, we get frustrated that it doesn't work and we stop giving and start only wanting to get. And as you can see clearly, when a flow only wants to get, it will soon, just like our money line, become a flat line. Do you see in what direction lies the liberation and the activation of your real, natural, authentic, purpose-driven, abundant financial flow? Indeed, in stopping to throw away money in distractions and in investing in discovering your authentic diamond or purpose from which you are designed to flow over into natural passionate abundance. So you will become able to even give more from what you have to give. I hear you say now, Tom, but I cannot invest because I am rock bottom. Well, we all are more powerful than our victim story. When I was rock bottom, I literally chose to do some road construction work where I stopped throwing away any time and money in distractions and invested every extra time and penny I made in studying, in courses, in self-liberation from which flowing over into natural, passionate, intended abundance is only a natural consequence, just like nature works with our blood flow or respiratory system. So let's recap. The activation of your intended abundant financial flow. First, stop wasting time and money on distractions and on what you do not have. Number two, invest time and money in liberation of your authentic core and feelings. If you skip this step of flushing out all your unsolved issues, you will keep pouring out unsolved issues into your flow, which will block your intended abundant flow. So your own liberation is the most important step towards activating your real inner diamond and unstoppable passion. Even investing time and money in your own liberation will activate a receiving natural flow already. Number three, invest time and money in how to give instead of how to get, how to give your authentic purpose. Number four, giving will activate receiving your natural intended financial flow so enjoying to receive is as important as enjoying to give. To help you even further on this journey towards your complete liberation and towards your natural intended abundance, I want to show you the following insights. Imagine this heart represents our untouched and unharmed fulfilled feelings at the moment we are born. Imagine this diamond represents our pure core, our authentic purpose from which each and every one of us is designed to flow over into natural abundance from what we authentically have to give. Imagine these glasses as our perspective from our independent fulfilled core. Then from the moment we are born until now, we all experience painful emotions and that pain sets around our core and our unharmed and fulfilled feelings. Because we don't know how to solve that pain, we have learned to escape from it. And do you know how? By building a wall around our feelings. And do you know how we build that wall? By constantly and stressfully running away from our feelings into our mind or thinking looking for constant distractions. This escape from our feelings into stressful distractions 
is the birth of the root cause of all of our fear or restlessness. Distractions like constantly being busy with our phones, constantly being busy with busyness, or in other words, business, constantly looking for distractions in sex or porn. This escape from our core and feelings is also the birth of our numbing imprisonment and limitations. Note that we are not only running away from our unsolved feelings, but we are also locking and numbing our pure core and unharmed feelings too underneath this stressful hunt for distractions. This imprisonment out of fear makes us cramp or block our body, and this physical and psychological blockage we also call trauma. Now that we are locked up from our inner diamond, we don't feel our core value anymore. And this disconnection from our authentic core and feelings is the root cause of all of our feelings of emptiness and unworthiness. This is the moment where we not only use distractions to run away from our unsolved feelings, but also as a means to look for a feeling of fulfillment and worthiness by running away from our feelings. The contradiction shows itself clearly. Yet we are too busy to question this numbing, imprisoning wrong direction, which has become a routine for so many of us. We search our lost feelings of value and fulfillment, for example, in distractions like status or in filling us up with drinks and food. Do you see that by running away from our feelings, we can never reach a feeling of fulfillment or value in these distractions? And that is why each distraction, apart from the short shot of distraction it gives, doesn't keep working and falls apart. Now, when our distractions doesn't work anymore, or our control falls away, unsolved pain breaks through our wall of protection, in the form of symptoms like anxiety, irritation, anger, self-pity, irregularity or jealousy. It's obvious we don't want to feel that way, and that's why we start hunting for more and new numbing distractions and want to hold on to our current distractions that serve as a band-aid away from our unsolved feelings. This is the birth of the root cause of all addictions. Even if they are not good for us, as long as they distract us from our own unsolved issues. To make sure we will get and keep our addicting distractions, we literally use people and distractions as distractions away from ourselves. So we learn to develop behavior that is only interested in being distracted from our own feelings. This is the birth of our covert victim behavior, like criticism, bringing down others, abuse or allowing abuse, complaining, lying, denying, blaming, bribery, mind games, assumptions, reversals, forgetting, fake concern, flattery, conscious denial, relational aggression, damaging someone's relationships or social status or overt victim behavior, like actual physical aggression. Both covert and overt victim behavior is intended as a big distraction to not be confronted with our own unsolved issues and responsibility anymore. This imprisoning, numbing rat race of hunting for distractions that never can bring us a feeling of fulfillment or worthiness is extremely exhausting. This direction away from our core might sooner or later lead to symptoms like exhaustion, depression, burnout, stress, tiredness, or even thoughts about suicide. Now, my intention of showing you this perspective is to make crystal clear that there isn't anything wrong with you. 
that if you might have one or even all of these symptoms, that it only means that you are heading in the wrong direction, away from your own diamond and feelings. Every time we get a new distraction, like a new partner, new sex, new stuff, we get a short shot of distraction. And this short shot gives us the illusion that by proceeding in the direction away from our core, we will eventually find our complete feeling of fulfillment that we are longing for. But you now see that distractions cannot provide us with a feeling when we run away from our feelings. The more we keep blocking our core and cramping our body, the more diseases we encounter. Now, diseases are helping warning symptoms to help warn us that we are still blocking our healthy flow and are heading in the wrong direction. These ease symptoms like headache, migraine, bad sleep, back pain, shoulder pain, high blood pressure or other physical diseases are only symptoms of being blocked for too long. If we are still not aware of the fact that our symptoms are our very valuable warning signals, we might choose to suppress our helping warning signals with medication and therefore keep blocking our feelings and core even more. Although medication can be life-saving in acute conditions, if we keep blocking our core and feelings, our body is being injected with constant fight and flight chemicals like stress cortisol and adrenaline that knocks our body out of balance. And according to the science of epigenetics, this chronic imbalance and blockage might switch on our inherited disease-causing genes and actually creates diseases. If we still won't listen to our valuable disease symptoms and keep blocking our natural flow of life, our chronic blockage might turn into a flatline. My intention is that you have clarity and insight that liberation from our symptoms lie in the exact opposite direction. In solving our unsolved pain, until the only thing left to be experienced are our independent, unharmed and untouched feelings of fulfillment and core, from which we are designed to see with clarity and to flow over into natural abundance from what we authentically have to give. Then there will be no more fear or stress to feel our unsolved emotions. And this will bring clarity and peace in our mind. And from there we can create and enjoy all great things life has to offer us in total freedom. What does it do to you to see with crystal clear logic that there isn't anything wrong with you? independent of the symptoms you may be facing right now. That the only thing that was wrong was following our conditioned direction away from our core and feelings. Now, what does it do to you to see that you are still the untouched and unharmed blank slate underneath all those numbing layers? The more I was trying to create a successful mask or the more I was trying to run away from my insecurities or from my fears or from my pains into distractions, the more my restlessness or exhausting fears in other forms kept arising and didn't go away. I only started to feel truly liberated, relaxed and filled with joy again, filled with self-esteem, enjoying every little thing around me when I decided to go to the root of my fears, of my pains and relating symptoms and solve them within myself. Because when we are no longer imprisoned in this exhausting system driven by fear, pain and relating symptoms, we will feel independently filled with joy again. And when we feel only joy without the fear and the pain, there won't be any obstructions left to create whatever belongs to us naturally. And when we create out of joy, without any obstructions, success and abundance are just logical, natural consequences. 
So basically liberating ourselves from this limiting imprisonment by fear, by restlessness and pain is the key to go from limitations and scarcity to the natural abundant flow that you are actually born for. Or does liberation come from running even harder against our will in the wrong direction out of fear? Now everyone can make this happen for themselves regardless of our current situation. You don't need to cultivate it. We don't have to be rich or try really, really hard. We don't need to change our relationship or the place where we are living. We don't need to change the way we look. And of course, we are free to do any of this, but it is not required at all. Just understanding how we can get past the root of our fear, of our pain and restlessness and our distracting addictions is enough. I created this video to give you perspective and crystal clear insight in direction towards real liberation from the root of the problem together with every other current and future symptom too. And my intention is that it will serve you this way. Do you want to know how to immediately get past the symptom of fear whenever it occurs? Or do you want to know the truth about fear and pain that will set your mind free? Well, then I have great news for you. Click here so I can send you the four free videos. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. And if you want to help me liberate even more people by making the real cause and unhealthy wrong direction visible, please share this video with your friends. Now, click on the link here and I will see you in the next video.